Welcome to Toronto, and thank, thank you for fun. bringing this to uh, the film festival. Uh, as I told the other guys, I go, this scared the crap out of me. So okay, thanks good. so much. Yeah, um, first off, the book. I mean, really, just just taking this book, which you know, it's won an award. You know, mm. the, how hard was that to make it into the screenplay? I would. It was. It wasn't too hard. <laughs> Was it hard? It was, uh, I mean, it's good. It's a good book, which helps, uh, which is always nice. So there's, there's the, reading it, there were scenes that you could tell straight away that was great because I could just steal them, which I like to do. Less work for me. Well, yeah. Take someone else's writing, <laughs> just pull feet. I mean, I should stress that was only like 10 pages. But no, it was good. There's lots of fun stuff in there. And then, um, and then the process of, of you know, creating a, a, a film script around it was... Uh, yeah. Long and arduous, <laughs> it takes a year. Yeah. But it was good. It was never anything less than a delight. Yeah, and uh, Dave, for you, I mean, picking your four actors, um, mm -hmm. I, I thought it was cast brilliantly because you've got four really different personalities going. What was you know most important for you, and why did you have cast the guys that you did? I mean, I think you know Rafe came on board first. Him and I met, and um, you know I'd seen Scouting Book for Boys, yeah. which I really loved, and I thought there was something about you know his character in that, the sense of rebellion or rage that he had to kind of subdue that made a lot of sense for this. And so I think we got on the same page pretty quick about how we wanted to approach it. And then I was fortunate to read the other guys and we kind of read them in pairs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I think for me, it's just being open and, and kind of listening to different actors' takes on Joe's words and, and, and allowing you know, myself to be surprised throughout that process and stuff. And so sometimes people bring things to it that you didn't quite imagine that color the characters in different ways. And then you just, um, you know, you, you, you start to kind of, you know, fantasize about what that's going to be like. You know, Sam Troughton brought a moral authority to Dom that mm -hmm. I, I didn't quite see coming that really, really anchored the movie in a different way. And, um, you know, uh, uh, Robert James Collier was, uh, he had a thing with Hutch that was very much like, uh, there's a lot of camaraderie in what he was trying to do. He was trying to do it for his friends, you yeah. know, which could have been played um, in a far more typical fashion. And then Archer Alley has this uh, really, really smart sensibility where he's kind of able to stay above things. And Phil, who seems, uh, who is, I think, the character who ends up being most susceptible to the supernatural elements, he was... Um, the la the least likely person to do that because of his kind of general affectation. And yeah, the way that he, yeah. He handled the banter. Absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm a huge Downton Abbey fan, so to see mm -hmm. Robert in this, like, it's like, whoa, you know, <laughs> such a different um, transgression for him is, is amazing. <laughs> yeah. um, I, you know, what, what I just. You know, you watch so many different horror films, and some of them are, are awful, some of them are great. I mean, you know, but what do you guys think is the most important element to make a really good, scary movie? Um. Start with the script, probably. <laughs> well, this great. was a good script. <laughs> I'll give you that. But, you know, there's got to be something in there that you got to catch your audience. And what do you think it is? I mean, on a technical level, the soundtrack is so important, right? Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's always the uh, Halloween stuff like that. I think, I think, I think all of that. I think well, one of the things that we talked about a lot is it really comes down to what what, what the pre-existing anxieties are that we're kind of exploring. You know, I mean, what. You know, there's you go to the movies to see you know the nightmare come real in mm -hmm. a sense, but uh, but it's it's the common ground that the filmmakers find with the audience in terms of you know in this movie it's all about you know failed masculinity, mm -hmm. which we talked about quite yeah. a bit, yeah. um, and uh, you know the loss of friendship, particularly male friends, and the loss of respect amongst your peers, particularly like friends that you were tight with when your early twenties, and, and yeah. you know that was that was really the the, the area I would say the it was the alchemy of all of those forces that I think if done right, then the Norse weirdness can really land. Yeah. Right, and it's not just facing like the real demon, but it's facing mm -hmm. the demons within. That's good. Mm -hmm. We should have said that. Yeah. Don't you think that should be like the tagline? Facing yes. the demons. No, but seriously, these guys, you look at these four guys and you're like, holy <laughs> mackerel, they got a lot of crap to deal with, yeah, you know? Yeah. And as I think you did really well in the script and in the direction of that. Like, mm -hmm. it was it must have been interesting to see the, the beginning of the four of them working together and they're friends and then how the bond changed. Mm -hmm. I, I found that really fascinating. Was that like, it must have been fun to watch that as a director and as a screenwriter. Yeah, I mean, well, they, they, there's such movement to the book, you know, and then likewise, you know, we were able to take that into the movie, and it's, a, you know, we, we had the benefit of looking. There's a lot of themes kind of explored in the book, and you can only get so much of it into the movie, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, there's a tale of people coming apart and hopefully struggling to come back together, and if there's movement to that, then, then the story should, 
should hum. Yeah, I don't know what this is going to do for Scandinavian tourism, but mm. you know, shooting in the in the forest must have been like was it was it a challenge? Was it difficult? Because it was it looked, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a really remote forest. Uh, we shot in Romania in the Carpathians. Uh, there's a the Buchej Plateau uh, mm. is uh, sits at about seven thousand feet. You get this like boreal forest. This very very feels like a northern European forest, but. It was, it was remote filmmaking um, and being on location, it definitely, the atmosphere affects you. And uh, the more removed you can be from the real world and kind of put yourself there, the hope is that that just influences different elements you know, yeah. of, well, of the creation. Well, it was really cool. It was a really, really cool film. And uh, thanks for bringing it to the festival and have a really good time at Midnight Madness tonight because you're gonna get, they're gonna love it. Everyone's gonna love it. So congratulations, thanks good job. Thank you. Thank you, great Thank meeting you. you both.